where it's like high crazy shit. Uh, but we will get back to the basics. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so this is the 50-50 guard, okay? It's a neutral position that, uh, you know, either, it's not really, one person doesn't really have the advantage over, over another if you take out the idea of points and, 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 and tournament and stuff like that. But in a tournament, there's a lot of uh, lot of advantage for the bottom player in this position because it's very hard for him to escape and very easy for me to come on the top, okay? So <clears throat> that's the idea from this. You don't want to get stuck in this on the top. It can be a real pain in the butt, okay? So we're gonna work on some methods of transitioning from the bottom top into a good position, okay? So one thing I wanna stress though is the, the design of this guard. So we're in a 50-50 position. We're completely mirrored right now, okay? We're completely mirrored. Now, if if I was to, if this, if my opponent was to take his leg and bring it over to this side, this is not 50-50 anymore, okay? This is a leg drag, okay? This is, I'm getting my guard pass right now. He's gonna just come down and smash me, and there's nothing, and I'm going to lose. I don't care how good I am, right? So, it's really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> this completely took me out of my mind. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, the first uh, first technique I want to work on is going to be the uh, the bear trap. The transition to the bear trap from the 50/50 guard. This is something I use a lot. So, the thing with the 50/50 guard is this: a lot of your sweeps are like pendulums, where you sweep and then I come on top, and now I'm here, right? Well, now I got to pass this guard, and now I got to fight all this through. And uh, and if he sweeps you right back, then we're back right where we started, right? And uh, that can work, and that can be really beneficial. When the, when the time is right, okay? You need to know how to do that. But there's some other options that can bring you to a better position. So one of them is going to the bear trap. The way I like to go to it is I like to kind of reach under my opponent, open my legs, and spin my hip like so, okay? When I do that, I lock a figure four here, and ideally I'm underhooking his leg, okay? From here, I have a lot, a lot of leverage to move him around however I want to do it. I can bring up, come up to the top very easily, and you can either test him with a calf slicer. Passing from here doesn't work like this, right? Because this doesn't, I can't pull my leg out of here, right? So what I like to do is swim under the leg, come here, and I can still go with the calf slicer or come back around, let my leg out, and finish from the leg drag, okay? So, so with the bear trap, it's very important that you're confident enough to unlock your legs. Because uh, this is very safe, but it's also, there's not a lot you can do with your legs stuck like this, okay? It's just not a lot of motion. So, I'm going to open up, come here, reach under, lift up my hip, and shift my thigh out and my shin where my thigh is, okay? So here, lift my hip up, just like this, okay? So everybody see how my thigh was in there, and now it's my shin from here? I like the figure four, but I still think you could do probably everything you want to, even if you didn't, but this is gonna be a way stronger lever, okay? Okay, one question I've had before is, what if this person starts underhooking me and cross-facing me, okay? In a lot of positions, this would be really bad. But for, for me, from here, I have so much power with my legs that I can simply still take them right to the top, okay? And if, I, if I'm there, I can keep this cradle and start working my leg out for an even easier pass, okay? So it's, it's, it's really, it's a, I know it's an advanced position, but it's really not a difficult move. I'm just moving my thigh out and my shin in, like so. Okay. Are you in danger of getting heel hooked there? Or What's no? that? Are you in danger of, of getting heel hooked there? Or yeah. No? If you're doing nogi jiu jitsu, then and the heel hooks are, are a threat, then I would I would still do this move. I would just be more be more careful. Like if I hold his hand, okay, I can't get heel hooked. Yeah. Right. So if I was nogi, that would be one way to nullify it. Okay. Then you're good. And it's great because once you're here, now I'm really not worried about getting killed. Okay, because he has no control of my knee. Uh, you know, there's so many other options from here. You can just, I mean, the calf crank itself is really strong. Uh, let's try to stay a little bit. Here, you can bring them forward, attack the toe hold. And this is one of my favorite toe holds because 
once I have this, there's just no, there's no escape. I can literally just let go of it and grab it again because he can't get out of this right here. I have such good control. And if he tries to get me in the same thing, my leg is straight and he doesn't have the same control that I have. So it's easy for me to put it to his butt and where he would have to put a lot of torque on it, I just have to put a little. So one more time, here, here. I've got the 50-50, the I'm figure four. Come out, underhook. Thigh goes out, shin goes in, figure four. If I can control this arm, great. If not, it's no big deal. Kicking forward. Test the calf slicer always if you're if you're uh, if it's legal in your competition. And then if you want to pass the guard, come under. Start to sink your hip back this way. Leg comes out. Come around the side, finish the pass. Any yeah. question on that? Can yeah, you kick you over like when, uh, whenever you're grabbing the leg? Can you just like kind of push you forward and like for, keep you from passing? So you're saying once I'm... Yeah, once you're about to go swim under. Okay, so once I'm here? And once you're past already, like once you're on top. Okay. And you're about to swim under. Yeah, and you're about to uh, swim under the leg. Mm -hmm. So like, um, can you just kind of like, um, push, like, um, push you forward before you get there? Kind of like with, with his leg. Wait, oh, oh like push his leg forward? Yeah, with his left leg, kind of, yeah. Like that? Like, can, can he push you yeah. forward, like, um, oh, can push, push you off the Yeah. Like that? No, I'm, I'm not yeah, too, like that way. No, I'm not too concerned with that. So, like, you're saying, like, once we're here, yeah. I push him forward. Yeah, once you're over, but what I mean, like, just uh, kind of prevent you from passing. Extend just like, his leg, just top. So, yeah. he extends his leg. Yeah. No, because look, I mean, once you swim, I'm, I'm good. He, now, if he puts it in my chest or something, yeah. you're saying, like, it kicks me away? Yeah. Then I, but that makes the calf even worse. Yeah, okay. And then I can still see what I was doing before. Sink back. And come around with that. Okay. That kind of answer what you're talking about? Yeah, because I, I was uh, trying to same pass from like reverse the heave and like um, when you show. It's a little different. Yeah. It's actually not the same pass. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I know the exact pass you're talking about. And this is a little, you're a little more tied in with this one. Okay. Any other question on that? Anything at all? There's no road or truck from after you get up on top, is there? Your legs are um, not, it looks like they're in the wrong position. You know what? Let's find out. They're backwards. Okay. Anything else? Let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Pathetic. <laughs> I need sicker in his